Hello, YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make a background for your desktop. First of all, go to File, New, and make sure it's on Pixels. Um, go here, right click, Personalize, and press Display Settings. And over here, over here, right here, should say the pixels, I mean, the size. So the white, it says it's 1366. The height, it says it's 768. Make sure it's on Pixels, press OK. You can close this now. Um, close that. And so here you are, this thing setting here. Um, see that thing right there. Uh, right there. So here you can make sure it's on black and get the uh, or red, whatever you guys, whatever you want. And press the look at fill tool and um, then it'll be red. But I'm gonna go for hey darker red. So um, so press again. And, um, um, you know what? I'm gonna just go for black. There you go. And um, you guys is now. Go to filters and then go to render nature flame. And here you have a flame here, a design here. You should have one there already. And then go to edit. On here, and here you should have edit flame. And I like to randomize and put the same. And randomize. Mm, I'm gonna use this one here. Press OK. You can use brightness and contrast. That and the gamma. And the pixels and the camera. And zoom in and out. And zoom all the way. And the Y makes me move up or down. Okay, and then it says drawing flame. Okay, so wait for that to load. While that is loading, I'm going to go over here to layer to make a different flame. So fresh, right click and new layer. And over here, I'm going to call this one flame two and transparency. Okay, and then here it is. And for filters, um, do the same thing for the fire flame. I meant flame. Um, here we have a different one, and I'm going to edit that to make it look even cooler. I'm going to use that one here, and I'm going to use that. The pixels and the gamma. And this over here doesn't do much. So, my camera, you just want to, and I'm going to that. Go move it over to the side. Right there. And press OK. So, now I have two. So, wait for it to look. Almost done. And that is that one. So, that's the one I put in. Now, you can change the color, but you're going to have to go back to it. Win two. That's this one here. This one's taking more time because it's a bigger cam, um, so... Yeah, you gotta be patient so you can color down and um and change it. I'm gonna make um, a green color here. Um venomous color and over here. And that's the color I want. I'm gonna crash okay and here it is. And I'm gonna move back to background or I can make a different flame, so I'm gonna make a different flame. New layer. So I'm gonna name this one flame three. And transparency, okay, and then go to filters and do the same. Make sure you're on flame three. So go to render nature flame. Here you are again, and if you already like this right here, then you can leave it as it is. So I'm gonna leave it as it is right now and um Here's the other flame that I was going to use. Oh, it's almost done. It needs a little bit more right there. And then I hope it doesn't go off. But, um, whatever. So, um, this is for the, like, the pixel, pixel around it. So I'm going to leave it like that in the bottom. And it's brighter. And I'm going to it up. And uh, this right here doesn't do much. Just random. So it doesn't do much. Like I said. And camera, you can move it around. So I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to zoom it over here. All over here. And then I'm going to leave it right there. Okay. So here it is, again, this one, the other thing. Wait for it to load. Here it is. Pretty cool, huh? Make sure you're still on the same three. And then the background one, the uh, this one here, the one that doesn't look like it's not finished, but it is now because over here, it's not here. So make sure you're still on flame three and change the color if you want. I'm going to use this one now and I'm gonna change it like that. And um, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here. And I'm going to make it larger because it's Saturation is like overlook. Okay, and then you can go back to color balance and you can go change it. Tap it now. And you can make it green, magenta, blue, and then color magenta. Okay, here it is. And I'm going to change the background one. This white one here, I'm going to change that color. So make sure you're on the, that flame now. It is flame one, which is called background, so leave it as it is. Um, color balance. Um, first of all, I'm going to the hue saturation, make it more showy, I guess. And that is the whole thing there, so that's what I'm talking about. When I meant, what I meant, I meant what I meant. So I'm going to go over there, and I'm going to And then I'm going to go to color balance, and I'm going to change it. I'm going to go for something on here, and um, um, a blue color. I'm going to go blue. And here's the color, and that's okay. And here it is. And um, you still want to add more flames or clouds or whatever. I'm going to add another flame, because I need something over here in this case here. So I'm going to make a blue layer, and here it is. I'm going to call this one Flame 4. Flame 4, sorry. Transparency, okay. Filters, and go to Render, Nature, Flame. Here it is, and I'm going to edit this, and I'm going to randomize. 
Okay, and I like this one here, so I'm gonna leave it. But make sure you don't make it really big. That one. One over here. Okay. Now as you can see, it's loading, so I'm gonna wait for it to load. See where it's gonna be. So just wait, it's almost here. And here it is. There, right there. I know it's in it's in the wrong spot or whatever. And then uh saturation. And then get the lightness and okay, and the saturation. Okay, now I'm gonna color balance and I'm gonna make it red. And yellow and okay. And here it is, and so you can leave it as it is, or you can do something else to it. So I'm gonna do a new layer. This one is gonna be called cloud. Okay, so I'm gonna and go to filters and make sure you're on the cloud. And then you're gonna go to render, cloud, and you can go to solid noise. And here it is. There's three different kinds of these. So here it is. And you can move around it and it seems really weird, but whatever. Random ups. And you can around it and I'm gonna make it a bit smaller. Like that. And um this is it and press OK. And solid noise is going and here it is. Now, I know what you're thinking. You can't see anything. Okay, yes I know. But first you're gonna change the color. And then color balance and I'm gonna make it red. Okay, like that. And okay. Then see you're still on the cloud, you're gonna go on the mode, and you're gonna go overlay. And here it is. Like this. But you can't see it, but you can a little, but yeah. And hold on. I'm gonna have to change this a little overlay. And make sure this is changed. So here it is, and then, and here is what I made. Okay. Now you can change this. Yeah. Or done. Or done. Or done. So then save it. Um, save it. Save as. And then I'm gonna name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it. Background, background, and always put JPG, and I'm gonna save it in. Hold on, leave it right here. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it. Put it on desktop. Okay, leave it on desktop. And then save. And over here, it's gonna do this. Just export, and then over here, and just save again, and save now. And if you don't know how to put it on background, you're gonna do the same thing. Go to personalize, and you're gonna go to desktop background, and then here you are, and you're gonna browse, and you're gonna go to desktop here, and you're going to find it here, and here is mine, and here it is, and it should come on, and push OK, and now close this, and here's my background. Let me take these things off here, so you can see it, and here it is. My cool background that I made on GIMP. You can also make this as your background for your YouTube page, but um, I'm not going to do that, so um, I hope you guys like this tutorial on how to make a background for your desktop. So I hope you guys like this, and you can also make screensavers, but it's um, a whole lot of more work. So yeah, and I hope you guys like this um, video um, tutorial on this um, and so, yep. Hi, guys. Peace out.